Hi guys and welcome back to episode 4 of my Emir multiplayer series. So I've just logged in. <laughs> We've got some chronicles here. Water please. Fuck off. Um, yeah, these aren't interesting. Sometimes people give good roleplay chronicles, sometimes they just chat out of rubbish. I don't really care about that. Um, coming now. Solving conflicts past. Oh, not enough food from gathering has failed. We've got the pots, but uh, it's just about the time, really. 14 hours, though, so it has actually decreased. That's good. Um, C20 wood. Done. Coach level up. Treaty from this dude. What does he want? Oh, writes a passage and then a give jewelry. Nice guy, nice guy. So, jewelry is one of the next important things we need for leadership. And you only need 10 shows. Okay, that's interesting. Because there's events that have been popping up all the time where people ask for 50 pots or 50 hammers or whatever for 10 shells. And the 10 shells, obviously, is what you need for jewellery. So next time that pops up, I will accept it and we can start researching jewellery. That'll be really useful. I've logged in now and I can see actually got tons of pots. 5.1 per tick, we've got 84 in stock and we actually had 104 pots, wow. Um, storage is almost full, we've got tons of hammers. I'm just going to build more ground storage. So, yeah, I want to try and keep it as close to this area as possible so that the enemy, when they arrive to try and steal stuff, will hopefully be shot at by our javelineers. But a few things, I did research a couple things in the time between episodes. So I researched well digging. So we've now got wells, uh, and obviously we've unlocked Elders Council. So Elders Council, where was Elder Council? But I thought it would be in government. Okay, but it's instead of giving us a new policy, so let's have a look. Tribal Council, this is it. Two state power, and we lose Minus two some population conflicts. It's a very small, small thing, but actually that should have an effect. We already are negative state power, which means we lose two loyalty because state power is directly uh, proportional to loyalty. So if you increase state power by ten, you get ten loyalty. But conflicts at thirty-five percent, so a one percent decrease in conflict won't actually. So that will not help us at the moment. So I'm not going to put that on. Lord is going down to 53. Um, but loyalty is fine at the moment. So, looking at technologies, food storage still isn't done. We've got 14 hours. Agriculture. Oh, I am pissed off about the agriculture, but. Oh, there's a 25% chance and. 25% chance to fail and we messed up, but oh, whatever. It just means we'll have to wait a bit longer. But we could have got agriculture started this episode because. 23 apples, and you get 25 uh, hoes to start with, so we could have got some fields planted, but never mind, never mind. Um, food storage, not priority. Spear fishing, we could get, I could put one hunter in that, take a day. Animal capture, how long is this going to take? Again, a day, but it's a 95% chance. I will put a second farmer in. Let's see. 22 hours. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Let's look at animal capture. Jewelry is artisans, and you need the shells. And that gives 10 adornments, and it actually lets you find shells on the map. So, we, so I do want that. So that will help for if I want to settle uh, new hamlets. I can decide if it's got shells there or not. Probably won't have shells. They're quite rare. Especially when you're not looking on water or the coast. So one other thing I did, guys, is I actually built loads of houses. Loads more to fulfill all the um, slums that had appeared. I'm surprised to find this out, but it did actually reduce the growth. The growth was at minus two. I built all the houses and checked after about five minutes. It took it down to 0 0.8 negative growth. So it did improve growth quite considerably. It actually halved the negative growth. So I would have thought it wouldn't have done that because I thought as the food was a limiting factor, an, Im an improvement of health from the houses wouldn't have an effect. But apparently it does. So I'm glad I've done that. Um, but we still have loads more hammers and leather to build more houses, but 
we don't have the people at the moment. I also built a forum, so got a little bit of community work, spare, so I built a forum. That is giving the community, which we're filling at 66%, it's giving us more culture, and culture is really important. It not only helps with like your loyalty, but more importantly, in terms of culture, it determines how quickly you get cultural levels up. So, looking at the knowledge, I think I do want to put one in to fish sticks to get fishing. But I will have to have a thing. But we actually have enough wood. We're using quite a lot of wood. I am going to take off to here. We just don't need that many pots. Um, I regular. Put another one there. There we go. So now we'll have a good, good surplus of, of wood. Because not only using up less, we're making more. And yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. So we've 94 hammers. When that event comes up to take 50 hammers for 10 shells, that'll be absolutely fine. We'll still have 44 hammers left. And the artisans. Yeah, we don't need artisans at the moment. So if we need to get five. I don't take five hours, so we could get that done later today. So we'll just have to see if that event pops up. I've been declining it every time, but I didn't realise that it only took ten shells to get jewelry. But yeah, everything's looking good. Uh, it's just a shame about the agriculture. Okay, now I'm on the map, and we've got our Japanese here. 100 AP. I'm going to start using them just to hunt because these yesterday there was a lot less uh, herds of animals, so they are spawning in quite fast. So I'm just going to get hunting these. We hunt one at a time. Gives us 16 meat and four leather. Yep, here we go. And I'll just unload that. That's just ensuring that we have enough for um, for when I'm offline. I don't want to come back and find we run out of meat and people are starving. We could also use these um, troops to collect wood over here. It's really expensive, but we could gather wood if we needed to. But we seem to be doing okay for wood. And actually saying that, we're still negative wood. I'm going to take even more of pottery. Really don't need that many pottery. Pottery workers. We've already got tons spare, so we're getting three per tick still. 3.7, I think it is. 3.4. We just don't need it. So... Take off these guys. If we come to culture and we enable, sorry, not culture, policies and social, and we enable, I'm reading this, and you actually have to enable this to get the tribal council buildings. So let's enable that. I want to see if anything's happened to the tribal council building. So three community work. Um, yeah, we, I don't think it's. I don't think it's worth it unless they've been improved. I don't think the conflict reduction is is worth it really. So it does actually look like we have spare jobs because here you can see I've disabled them, put them to low, and they just come straight here. So I only need to find more jobs. I, I don't really want more hammer workers because we've, we're already producing 4.1 per tick. We've already got 94. So I need to find something else. It could just be more woodcutters. Um, yeah, it could be more woodcutters. It could be a well. But the well actually costs one community work as well, so I, I, I don't want to get one just here. Uh, production. Woods, clay, flint, stone. Hmm, can we have a weapon maker? No, we have a good stock of javelins. Okay, I'm going to build another woodcutter then. There we go, place this one here. Um, I'm going to set this to high priority. And set this one to high priority. I'm going to keep these at high priority as well. I've set all the tanners to low because, I again, we don't have... To, what's the point of fulfilling consumer goods when we don't even have food fulfilled? So, I don't want them. I could start making them for archers later, but I'd have to revoke leather clothes and... Uh, I'm not so sure. But maybe that's something to think about. Actually revoking leather clothes, start producing leather clothes now. Ready for archers, but... No, I'll have to have a think. Mm. I am really not sure what to spend these sit points on. We are going to have a wave of new things we're going to need soon. Um, 
Lots of new consumer goods propping up, but not that soon. And five is still a lot to hold on to. So I think I do actually want to get the fishing. We we do need extra wood, which we don't have, but I feel like that's what I do want. It will help with the growth and the sieve points we won't really need. But the thing is with fishing, you can't revoke the sieve point in it once you've got it. That is a, a big thing you need to understand. You can revoke the sieve point in consumption of fish, but you can't actually revoke the sieve point in the fish itself. So there we go, guys. I've got the woodcutter set up, um, employed from the pottery and the tanneries. And now we're at 1.8 wood per tick. So we're gonna be getting us up some wood. Um, and I think I will get spear fishing once we reach 15 wood, but I'm not entirely sure just yet. Uh, so now I'm just gonna leave the game on and I'm gonna return to the video once we've got a notification about the shell so we can get wearing adornments or if something interesting happens so i'll see you then okay welcome back guys it's been a day i spent the rest of the day on yesterday when i was recording the first part of this video nothing else happened so i have to, i had to wait overnight and i've come back all researches have completed we've got farming we've got protecting the food I also went and did uh, fishing, and yes, it has used up a sieve point, which we probably can't get back. And we do only have a small fishing um, source here, but I still think it's useful to have, at least in this early period. So I am gonna be gonna be sticking with that. But we've also got farming. This is absolutely essential to increasing our growth. We've got 26 apples. We've also got trading, so we lose 35 pottery and receive 10 shells. Brilliant. Okay, okay. Knowledge. We're not going to get jewelry done. I'm going to put all five artisans on that. Four hours. Let's start the project. Okay, things are looking really good. We're really going now. We've also got community work available. And because we had that fish spike, which almost used all up now, but because we had that fish spike, we're growing in size. So we're getting more porcos. But we can retain that now because we are getting a new fisher pick. And also, we are going to be getting farming. So look at 145 hammers. I'm going to put all of these on hoe production. But now, when we have a look at our knowledge, is we're not, we're only using up two farmers. So if we click on these and we can see 75% usage, that's usage, and they're already having to spend extra usage on um, working on the research. So these really don't, aren't working at maximum capacity. So I'm going to start grading them. If we have a look, we go to our culture. We've already got consumption of apples. But now we need to unlock production of apples. Here we go, apples here. And I'm going to start off with two sip points in apples. One in production, one in consumption. Uh, sorry, one. Sorry, what am I talking about? One in consumption we've already got, but I'm going to put two into production. One into allowing us to produce apples, and then another to get extra production efficiency and extra natural sources productivity. And then we can upgrade that further, because apples is going to be my main source of food. Apples, I think, are really, really good. Because not only are they a good source of food, but also you can make cider out of them. So you get two in one, really. You can invest a large amount of sieve points in them to produce cider more efficiently and to produce food easier. So I really am happy with apples. But now we've got the apples. Already going to be producing more. We've got 0.9 per tick instead of 0.7. But look at this. Look at all this fertile. I'm not used to seeing this much green because I'm used to playing in the Nordic or the, the tropical. So... Let's get some apple apple fields down. Try and place them as close as... I'll, try, I'll start off near the sides. Oh, actually, one thing I want to say, guys, is they have actually increased the size of fields. This is way more like a pasture f size now. I think they increased it by two on the X and Y, so it's now eight, no, four. No, it looks a lot bigger. Yeah, it's four overall, as it's two on X and two on Y, but that's a lot bigger. I can't even go through the maths. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty, two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. That's twenty-eight, maybe bigger, but it's a lot bigger. It looks like a pasture. But what I'm interested to see is 
is this apples or all of them because in my opinion apples always felt a little bit op because they're apple trees but you've got the exact same amount of food but you could also make cider of them so this seems a little bit strong so maybe apples have been nerfed a little bit but either way i still think they're really good um but i'm gonna get some fuels down over here There we go. So that's about five. Yeah, that's five. Because they're now at hundred percent. But again, they do still have the workers busy. These guys are already at hundred percent with the research. These guys are at seventy-eight. So I'm gonna get more farms down for them. Have a look. 99% but again with research, but I can add more fields to these guys later on. These guys need a load of field Have a look 95% and then with research, so I'll add just one more for, so they're ready for later. Oh, just a bit Okay, we're running out of space in this area I, I want to build in the three fertility for now So I'll mark that there um, and I'll place this one here. Okay, and then how many more farms do we have? We come here, gathering camps. Got one there, one here. I think we've only actually got four, which doesn't. Maybe we do actually have four. Okay, so we have now got all these farms filled up, and we'll let them produce and. I will get some more farm built. Actually, I'll do that now. I'm going to get another gathering camp built. Not really any more food to acquire on these sites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the gathering camp actually down here. Yeah, in the small area down here. Yeah, I may have over <laughs> overextended that bit. But yeah, I've got a little area now. A little area where I can just build some some fields. Extend this down here. Yeah, here we go. And then infrastructure. Yeah. Delete. There we go. So this I'm going to set to low for now because we don't actually want workers there. But we've got these apple fields starting to build. These ones are all done. Now we're up to 1.1. We're probably going to be at about 1.2. And remember, we're producing 4.3, but because the people are consuming them. This is the excess surplus we have. 1.1 is going into our maintained stock. But actually, already, if we weren't maintaining stock, we actually meet demand. 4.3 to 4.2. But I want to get 30, so that way I can always keep expanding and expanding the, the food. The food surplus quicker. But, I'm just going to put maybe another sit point in straight away. We've still got three sit points. I'm trying to think what we could use them for. Um, shells, I'm not going to put any in shells or adornments. Um, mm, I could maybe revoke some water or... I'm saying that I do want to get a well down because soon water is going to be our limiting factor. So I'm going to get a well down. I'm going to get it down over here. No, I'll get it. I'll get it down somewhere a bit more useful. Yeah, somewhere like that. And I'll set the well. Oh, I don't think wells use jobs anymore. Usually, or well, they used to, have one worker in the well. But looking at it now, you can't assign wells. So I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm mean, guessing they no longer need workers, which is actually really useful. That's a bit fairer for people who have a spawn like me, where there just isn't enough water. I'm going to set these to critical. Hi, some people here. Very little for 0.4 fish is really crap, but uh, it's better, better than nothing for now. But then saying this, I don't think, I think actually they've changed it again. We've got consumption of fish. We spent one sieve point on spear fishing research. And that one sieve point has gone to consumption of fish, which means if we were to revoke it, we do get a sieve point back. It doesn't actually cost us any sieve point for fish. That's another change. Because I think a lot of people complain, like I did, where fishing was a bit a bit pointless because you'd have to have so many sites to really get your sieve points out of it. But 
Then if you did want to get it just for the early game, you couldn't get your sip points out of it, so you wasted a sip point. But that's changed now, so I'm very happy I did get the fishing. Just something for the early game to see us over a little bit more. But look at the growth, 8.6. We're going to get 13 new Porcos. So what this is saying is we're going to have 88 new total population, but 13 new working Porcos here. So we're going to go up to um, 77 actual Porcos, and, but we have 79 jobs. But remember, a lot of our jobs are very, like, non-important. I don't know how you say that, really. They're not essential. Like the tanneries, you don't need them filled at the moment. We don't need all the potters filled. We don't need all our flint workers filled. So, even though we're going to almost hit our job capacity, <laughs> a lot of it isn't even needed. But actually saying that, I am going to get more apples now. We've got 11 more hoes. 12 apples. I'm going to put this to critical. Higher. And then I'm going to get some more more apples down one thing is i started my little village over here but one rule i always like to say is i always build on flint and the reason i build on flint is because it you can't really put agriculture there because it's one fertility it's really bad and so it's a way for you to save and get the most use out of your territory because you build on the flint and then it saves all the nice fertile area for your crops so once i've used up all this uh, flint which i almost have i'm going to move it over here so i'm going to have separated little city zones in fact i probably should have started the city somewhere like here it's much bigger but i started here and it's all right so i'm going to continue to build fields over here oh, i just can't get that spot there I'm mm, just trying to get the maximum fertility out of this, this soil because we're close to flint borders, but we've got everything we could build there. We're only making 2.1 hose per tick, even with all our tool makers on. Saying that though, they are on a negative production due to the research, so we're all good in that sense. But wow, things are really going good in episode 4. Loads has happened. Start of the episode, quite slow. We're just trying to get research done. I've come back the next day. We have got uh, wearing adornments on the way because we got the ten shells. We have got food storage done, agriculture done. We've got our starting agriculture set up. What else have we got done? We've also then unlocked obviously hose, so we're now doing hoe production. We're growing the city because we've got fishing, which has given us a little bit of stock. But also now we're supplying more more apples. So we're doing really good. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed that episode. If you did, if you could give it a like, I'd really appreciate that. And I'm sure you guys already have, but if you haven't, if you could subscribe to the channel to show you're enjoying the Amir content, it does show me what guys or what videos you guys subscribe to. So if I can see all the subscribers that come in from Amir, I will want to do more more videos on that. But I'm already enjoying this loads anyway, so I don't worry, I will. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please watch episode five as I'm going to do way more with the agriculture. So I'll see you then in episode five.